We are officially in 2023 and it has been eight and a half years since I've had a facial. Yes, I used to love a facial in my early 20s. In fact, I used to indulge in one every month or every two months, but somehow I tuned out of it and it has been almost nine years, eight and a half, nine years that no one has touched this face. But there is a self-care ritual that I love and I enjoy and I love to do it at least once a month. This is what I call my home facial. So I'm going to share it with you today. If you're interested, keep watching. Hello, hello and welcome to Skincare Simplified. My name is Nipun, your skincare bestie, now a certified skincare consultant. Today's video is my home facial. Short, sweet, very effective. I will take you through an exfoliating technique, how I shave my face, which is something I do once every few months because I don't really have facial hair. I basically don't have much hair on my body any which ways. So I am, I'm, but I'm going to show you that because I feel I should just do it. And yeah, and I'm going to take you through all the products I use. What is it that you can use? Hope you enjoy this video. Keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do is my face is dry in the sense I washed it in the morning. I applied a little bit of a sunscreen. Then I washed it off a while ago. So my face is clean and dry. And first we're going to go in with a gentle scrub. Now get ahead, go get shocked because you'll be like, you always say you shouldn't scrub. But wait a minute, I'll show you what we are using as a scrub. So yes, I don't quite enjoy the St. Ives one because it's thick, it's granular, etc. But what I do enjoy and I have been enjoying for the last three years is the Wishful Yoglo Enzyme Scrub. This is a, an AHA BHA scrub. It is super gentle. Even if you exfoliate like a lot with it, it's not going to cause any tears on your face. And I do feel that your skin looks instantly brightened. However, this product is strong. So I don't recommend this for daily use, definitely. Definitely no. Weekly also, uh, I'm not sure. I kind of use this product one, two times a month. So that's how I use it. But I've gone through tubes and tubes of it. I quite like it. If you don't have this product, a really simple product that you can use at home for the first step is basin. Everyone has gram flour at home. Just use that in a little bit of water, make a paste and use it. So we're going to first get started with the exfoliation. So I'm going to take a little bit of this product and I'm going to use more as I exfoliate my neck. And usually what I start with always is my neck because as I love this product for the neck, for the body. I've even used it on my arms. You just take a little bit and you start exfoliating, giving yourself a nice gentle massage. And this product, as you exfoliate, it of that dead skin sort of gets attached to it. It's a nice brightening product and I always like to start with my neck first. It's just how I like to do it. Also because I feel that sometimes when we are doing a home facial, we kind of forget about our neck, which we shouldn't because it is super, super important. So yeah, I basically get started with the neck and it's going to take me and I'm going to give it a lot of time. So I'm going to like fast track this video because I take good five minutes exfoliating my neck. Like I said, I take about five minutes to exfoliate my neck. Then I take a little more product, gently exfoliate my entire face. And once it's done, I wash it off with water. So I wash my face. It's nice and clean and it is not glowy as such, but it's feeling nice. Now, just remember one thing. If you're using the Wishful AHA BHA uh, scrub, it has actives. So therefore, at night after this, when you do your nighttime skincare routine, do not use any actives. Do not even use retinol. At least that is what I like to do tonight after I'm done with whatever. My routine will not have any actives, will not have a retinol. I will just use like snail mucin and cream and oil and something very, very hydrating because I've exfoliated my face. Now we come to the part where I'm going to actually do hair removal. My most preferred way of hair removal is actually using wax strips and Wheat brand actually has these facial wax strips, which I just use here because this is where I have hair. Uh, out here, I sometimes like do threading, etc. But like eyebrows I've not done in like eight months I don't get hair so I'm lucky that way I don't have facial hair but because it's the winter time I have actually moved to shaving because when I wax my face I need to take a week long break from my actives before and after so I've just moved to shaving and a lot of you guys were asking about how do you shave your face does your hair grow back etc etc no your hair doesn't grow back I any case have very little hair and whatever little I shave does not come back like crazy. You can, uh, I'm just using these regular Amazon uh, razors, uh, nothing fancy. 
you can use anything that you want there are two ways i have seen people do it i have tried both one is waxing on dry face one is using a medium like a gel or an oil etc now i am going to use aloe vera gel because i find that the most effective when it comes to removing facial hair so i'm just going to apply like a thick layer and i just remember i'm just going to go here i'm not like going all over my face etc after applying aloe vera gel hold your razor diagonally and gently start shaving in diagonal motions downwards if you have a pimple coming up like i do go around it and avoid that area be slow and gentle as you can see i've got some gunk here it is the aloe vera gel and my little baby hair trapped in you can see it hopefully right here this is what i've got now i'm going to continue with the process and keep going through till i actually complete my shaving process in the areas that i want to shave once i'm done i take a tissue paper and wipe off that area till i'm satisfied then i start the same process on the other side and i will shave everything downwards wipe off and i'm ready so that's how i shave my face koi rocket science nahi hai you just need to be very careful about the angle of the razor the one thing that i want to talk about is that i don't use razors multiple times i use it only one time so i've used this razor and i am just going to junk it now i'm not going to use it again because i just feel that if they get flat and your angle is not right you can cut yourself and ek aadhi baar i have cut myself and i have just shaved this part because this is where i have hair jahan baal nahi hai ya bahut chote se hai i don't see the point of sort of removing it because it doesn't look bad it doesn't even get seen so why fix a problem that doesn't exist but this is how i shave my face if you like it you can shave like this or you can watch other tutorials a lot of people i know shave their neck they shave their full face cheeks nose and all of that uh, i don't know how to do it i've never done it so i'm so sorry but now i'm going to wash my face one more time and this time only with plain water even the last time when i had washed my face after doing my scrub it was with plain water no soap now there's a little bit of aloe vera gel though i removed most of it with tissue i am just going to go wash my face and then we're going to do my absolute absolute favorite thing wait for it the face has been exfoliated and washed now at this point i'm going to go in with a sheet mask but before i do i'm going to show you my hack which is my favorite sheet mask hack i have shared it many times and if you know i mean you'll get to know it and i'm going to go in basically with a cocktail of hyaluronic acid serum so about two pumps this is from vichy it's not my favorite but it's very good which is my favorite hyaluronic acid if you are going to send that to me in the comments one of you can get a gift from me random okay and i've taken about 3 pumps of the snail mucin essence this little cocktail is like so okay because i have exfoliated i have shaved so obviously the top layer of the skin thoda so it must have gotten irritated i'm just going to apply that and then i'm going to go in with my sheet mask you guys if you haven't done this and i've shared this like on instagram i've shared this on tiktok but agar aapne ye nahi kiya hai kar ke dekhen when you apply hyaluronic acid and snail mucin ya agar aapke paas snail mucin nahi hai just even apply your hyaluronic acid then go in with a sheet mask any sheet mask doesn't matter sare same hote hain you will have the most glowy face ever oops this is ulta <laughs> you will have the most glowy face ever let me just put it on The sheet mask that I've used is from Ole. This is the vitamin C and niacinamide sheet mask. I basically bought like a whole bunch from Ole and Pons and L'Oreal, and I'm just trying it out. So I'm going to leave this on. Now I'm going to leave this on for about 15 minutes, and I'm late jogging. I'm just going to go and like lie down a little, look at Instagram, do something like that. I will take it off, and then we'll continue the facial because facial khatam nahi hua. Okay. So I've taken off the sheet mask and see up close 
how good my skin looks it's hydrated it's soft it's really really nice and at this point i like to do one more mask so my facial is all about hydration hydration more hydration i love the boots number no. seven hydration mask this is a new one it's the hydra luminous i just got it i'm using it for the first time the sales rep actually told me that i can use this as a mask i can also use this as a sleeping mask but it's Ew, goopy and thick so i want to use this as a sleeping mask but a hundred percent as a mask i'm gonna use it now this can be left on your skin for like two three minutes or even like up to 10 minutes it's all up to you i am definitely going to take it under my eyes and it feels already like it's cooling it feels really good I just feel it's very similar to the other one, which is right here, this one. This is the one I've been using for years. This is a new variant. I feel in texture, it feels really similar. So I don't know what the difference is. Maybe they just changed up a few ingredients and they're selling it, but let's see. Now this mask is a cream-based mask. So if when you have to take it off, if you're gonna wash your face, you'll not be able to. So the best way to take it out is with a microfiber cloth that is wet or with like good old tissue and I have a whole box here. I'm just going to give it another few minutes to sit on my face while I scroll some more Instagram and then we're going to take it off and go into step number five, I guess. Yeah, step number five. Let's get this mask off and I should be able to tell you whether it's better than the other one from Boots. It's written hai two in one hydration surge mask. Now I think they've written two in one because they say that you can leave this overnight and the earlier one is not for overnight. But if you see any mask that you're using which is cream based, if you take it out with a tissue like this, your life will be so much easier. If you try and wash it off, it's just going to be a mess. Okay, my skin feels really soft like really soft but i think it feels the same when i wear this one so maybe next time i should do a half and half half face with this half face with this and then we'll know because right now it kind of feels as good as it feels when i use the other one but then i got this on sale so it's okay and i love boots number seven products i recommend them all the time and i just had to try it out Ew. I did put it on my lips. Now we're going to go in with another step. But before that, I am just going to gently splash my water, my water, my face with some mist. You can do this with water as well. But I'm just going to splash it with the mist because I have it here. <sighs> Lot of mist. And then I'm going to clean some more just to make sure that I have no residue of the mask basically the point of using a mist or using water to splash your face is to make sure that you have no more residue right because now we're going to go in with something that is just going to make your skin feel so good now just here i want to say uh i want to just make a point if you have my type of skin which is normal to dry or dry skin this is ideal agar aapki skin oily hai so your last step hai aap skip kar sakte hain which basically means if your skin is oily the video ends for you now okay face is super soft super supple super nice and now we're going to go in with the favorite part for which which is for which we used to actually go and do massages and that is going uh, facials and that is to actually go in with a massage so i love using a nice facial oil i have two here this one is by minimalist it is the rose hip and vitamin c and this is the uh, keels midnight recovery oil serum now this is a serum which is in an oil form and it is a very pricey product so i don't like to use this but this particular one from minimalist is really really beautiful i've taken like an entire dropper and now i'm going to first things first we're just going to start massaging our face and i'm going to go and talk through the entire process in a voiceover because that's just better so you can understand how you want to do this and this is a really really important step as far as facial massage is concerned so watch carefully 
So we're going to start the massage by first massaging downwards. Down your neck in gentle movements like this. We are getting started with lymphatic drainage. All the fluids that are stuck are going to be drained downwards. Now take your knuckles in this kind of a folded movement and start massaging from the down portion of your ears all the way down. Take your knuckles behind your ears as well and start massaging down. All of this is lymphatic drainage. This not only refreshes you, but it is also great for overall puffiness that may be there on your face. Take all of that down. The knuckles are very, very important. This is a great way of massaging your neck, your face, and you can actually manage the pressure. Once that is done, now start the upward massage. Use your knuckles because they create an amazing pressure and start going up. All of the areas where you get laugh lines, a little bit of saggy skin, that is what you need to push up and get started with your brows. Lock in your brows in between your knuckles like this, press, massage and then move to the center of the face. The center of the face or the forehead where I'm massaging is usually where we get our fine lines and wrinkles. This is also the place where there is maximum tension so you really need to massage it down. I really want to go to sleep. Look at me relaxing on my chair but that's not the best way to shoot this video so I'm moving forward so you can see everything. I am really massaging behind my neck and my ear lobes because somehow personally I have a lot of stress here. I don't know how but I do. So I like to massage this down and when I do I feel extremely relaxed. I'm already ready to go to sleep. My issue on the face is around the laugh lines so I start massaging that upwards because that is what is important for my skin. Then we are particularly going to work on the laugh line area by moving in the knuckle in upward motion and making sure we massage it really, really well. Then I move in back to the neck, take in a little more product because my skin is dry and all of the oil is already absorbed. Now I'm focusing more on my eyes and my eyebrow area. This is where we frown, we smile, there's so many expressions, so there is a lot of tension in this area and massaging it up is great. It is so relaxing. I highly, highly recommend that you guys try it. I continue the massage all over my face for another 10 minutes till I'm totally relaxed. So this is the massage process and as you can see, it has added an amazing glow to my face. What this did was, first was the exfoliation. Then I went in and I shaved whatever little baby hair I had. Then we did the sheet mask, which sort of hydrated my face. We locked in more hydration with this hydrating cream-based face mask. And then finally, the oil massage. The oil massage is a really important step because not only are you helping and enhancing lymphatic drainage, it is overall very, very relaxing because it increases blood circulation. And instantly you just feel a lot of life has returned to your face. Now, given this entire situation, I, at this point, just like to go ahead and hit the bed and relax and sleep off. If I can, because right, but now I can't do it because it's still early evening and I have to go out and I have to do things. So I'm gonna relax for a bit and then go ahead, do my makeup, whatever else. And at night when I take it off, I will do my nighttime skincare routine. But if I was doing this routine at night, I would literally make this my nighttime routine and then just go to sleep. If you go to sleep after this process, you will not only wake up relaxed, your skin will be glowing too. This is how I give myself a quick facial once a month. But another step that can be really, really useful in sort of brightening up your skin of your face and your body is doing a gentle chemical peel at home. If you want to know how to do that, check out the next video. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take great care of yourself. Bye.